OK, so let's go ahead and look at a scenario where we've had an event and after the event we want to go ahead and send out a survey. But instead of using email for this, maybe we want to use text messages. So obviously there are, um, depending on different countries that you're in, you might have different rules, different regulations around this and you will have wanted to or you will have needed to request permission to be able to send the text messages. So that's up to you to d decide and, and figure out what the, what the laws are in the country that you're in or the country that you're doing business in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through and show how you can achieve it using Forms Pro and also using something called Twilio. So we'll get to that in just a moment. Okay, so we've got a survey that we've created and we've just added in the parameter, the piped value for first name. And then what I've also done is in the personalize option, I've added in um, new piped variable of event. So we're basically going to pass through the event name that they were at um, and then we're also going to be passing through their first name. Alright, so the next thing that we are going to look at is in um, our Dynamics 365 customer engagement environment we have a marketing list and in that marketing list we've got the name of the marketing list and then we might have our members in there who are people that actually attended the event. So obviously you would do that in various ways. It might be that You've got people that you registered for the event and you uh, use some kind of field in your search query to say, right, all these contacts or all these leads are going to go into this specific marketing list. That's entirely up to you as to what you would be doing. I've just got a simple marketing list. Um, the name of the event was the Power Coffee Social. So we've got that as the, the marketing list name. OK, so. Next thing we're going to do is within Flow, there is the ability to send out a text message using a service called Twilio. So if you haven't heard of it, you can go ahead and Google it. You can set up a trial account, which is what I've done here for this specific purpose. So we can see that I think you get $15. Um, so you've got a trial balance and then you get a trial phone number. So in terms of if it's something that you want to go ahead and test out, there are other tools available, available but this is one that has a connector for, t for Flow. So we can actually use Twilio to go ahead and send our text message. OK. You see there, there are two things. There's an account SID and there's an auth token. Uh, so I'm not going to show that. Uh, so you can see where you would find that information. Um, and I can literally just click on these to copy that to my clipboard. We're going to need those in just a second. Now let's go ahead and look at our flow. All right, so the flow, this one's a little interesting. So what we're doing here is we can have a flow process that will um, be possible for us to run from the marketing list within uh, Dynamics um, CE. So we'll be able to pick an option from the top of the marketing list and go ahead and run this. We'll do that in just a moment. All right. So now what we're doing is we're basically saying in CRM, the user is going to run that flow on a specific marketing list. So when that record is selected by running that flow, what we're then going to do is we are going to get all of the records that are in the marketing list. Uh, sorry, we're going to get the actual list that's in there that's linked to it. And then from there we have list members and the list members are either going to be your leads or your contacts. So once we've got that, what we're going to do is go ahead and for each of the list members that are found, we're going to go ahead and get the matching contact. So the matching contact is we're looking at the contacts entity. And then the item identifier is basically that um, uh, entity ID from the um, get list members step. Now what we're going to do is because we don't want to try and send a text message to somebody if we don't have a mobile phone. So we've just got a condition with a, a little st query string there. We're basically saying um, check that matching the all of the, the contacts or for each contact that we found, check it and, and make sure that the mobile phone field is not empty. Um, so if, if it is, then we're not going to do anything. If it does have something. Here's where we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to create a, a, an invite for the Forms Pro survey and we're going to go ahead and send that over in a text message. So we're going to do create an invitation 
and what I'm doing here is I've, so I've picked the survey then I've filled out the fields and the event is that that uh, last variable that I created for that I'm going to go ahead and get the name of the marketing list from that first trigger step okay so we're going to use that as our piped variable we're setting the invitation regarding the contact and the recipient is also the contact hopefully if you've watched any of the videos uh, other videos that I've done you should see um, a pattern by now the regarding the recipient the format of that is entity type name and then a comma and then the entity ID that you're going to be using next what we're going to do is this is just to kind of make things a little bit prettier we are going to go ahead and update that invitation that we've created and we're going to give it a subject of uh, marketing list name again and that's going to just then have a hyphen and then event feedback you don't have to do this step it just kind of makes that invitation look a little bit prettier um, within the um, CDS um, environment within the record that it that it creates for that survey invite all right so now what we're going to do is if this step right here um, if we ignored this and didn't put this in and we took the um, invitation link that this step creates and we put it directly into the text message what would happen is the link to the survey would still work but what happens is the the URL link because we've got all of these different piped valuables, uh, valuables, piped variables, the values that we're passing back through to that survey, that makes the URL string a little bit longer. And what what's happening when I was first setting this up and testing it is it was stripping out a lot of that URL string because it was too long. So even though the survey would open, we'd get a text message and we'd see that link. It wasn't passing through any of the variables, so we were getting um, the um, first name and the event just like this rather than actually passing through that information. So what we need to do first before we get to the actual text message itself is we're going to use um, bit.ly and that's one of the connectors and we are going to create a bit link so if you've never used bit.ly before um, you've probably clicked on a link where somebody has used it there are many different um, URL shortening uh, solutions out there there's tiny URL there's bit.ly there's a few um, that you can use this one has a connector so that's fantastic we can go ahead and set that up create an account um, it doesn't cost you anything or it didn't seem to cost me anything um, doing this and I'm taking the URL from the step where we've created the invitation so where is it uh, let's see there we go so create an invitation we've got that invitation link so we're going to use that to pass through as the URL then we're going to use our Twilio connector and we're going to use it to send a text message now in this from phone number that will give you the number that is in your Twilio, Twilio account so we're going to go ahead and select that the phone number is going to be the mobile phone from the get matching contact then we're going to use whatever field you want so I'm just saying hi first name thanks for attending our and then I'm using the marketing list name because in, in my setup I've named that the name of the event so it's going to say thanks for attending our power coffee social event recently please provide your feedback and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using the shortened URL from the create a bit link step of the flow okay all right so now let's go ahead and I'm going to go to the marketing list and if I go to the flow option and click run flow we have send SMS survey as the option now so I'm going to go ahead and click this and then it's going to go ahead and give me the button to run flow now depending on how you set up your connectors whether you enable them for the organization um, it, it could be that somebody gets messages to authenticate or connect with their own accounts so you need to be careful when you're stepping uh, setting that up is that something that you um, want others to be able to use so test that in your environment so I'm going to go ahead and click done and now if I go back into flow let's go ahead and 
Awesome. And I, I also, you probably didn't hear it, but my phone did just buzz because the text message was sent through and it is on my phone. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through this su successful one and I'm going to go ahead and open up um, so we can see um, there's the text message that was sent. Hi, Megan. Thanks for attending our Power Coffee social event recently. Please provide your feedback. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go ahead and paste it in a browser just so you can see how the survey came through. So I would get that text message, I would click on the link and there we would see that it's personalised. Megan, you recently attended our Power Coffee social event. Um, thank you for taking the time to complete this survey. Your feedback will improve, help us improve f future events. So hopefully that gives you a few ideas on how you can use text messaging. Obviously, if you wanted to, you could run through in your flow and create some conditions to say, does somebody have a mobile phone? Have they opted in for mobile phone um, for text messages? So that could be within your contact preference area. Um, if yes, then let's go through the process and create an invitation um, and do the text message. If not, have they allowed you to um, send them emails then go ahead and send them an email instead. So you can obviously uh, factor that into your own flow based on your specific requirements, your specific needs, uh, but hopefully that helps and gives you some ideas in terms of being able to send survey invitations via text messages. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.